Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video and we're back on the Brighton main line. So obviously it does come out on TSW in a few days and then we probably won't really come back to this one uh, until, I don't know, until we need to come back to this one. Um, but anyway, yes, we're doing a AP uh, scenario. First off, let's quickly get in the cab. We're in the 319. Oh, I don't need to do that yet. Don't need to do that yet. There we go. Right, I need to get the doors open. So... Uh, let's pop in the master key. Should be all good. Uh, AWS is like one of the little old little buttons. Uh, let's get the doors open as well. And I believe this one is guard operated as well. Uh, yes, this will be guard operated, this service. Uh, let's get the doors open. I'll press T. There we go. Uh, that's all good. Headlights, 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 headlights. I need to set to. I guess it's that one. Day? Would that be on day? Yeah, that's on day. Marker lights, they need to go off. Uh, tail lights off. Um, yeah. yeah, I think we need that one on. Um, marker lights on. There we go. That's all good. But yeah, we're in the 319. We're doing a Connex South Central service. It's quite cool, yeah, this one. Uh, let's read the little blur. So, to drive, first things first, change the guard operation. We've done that. Uh, open the doors here at Gatwick Airport and you're booked to depart 37. So, we've got a couple of minutes. You then call at East Croydon at 53 and Clapham Junction at 1503. And there's DSD going off. Uh, you will then call, yeah, make sure that before you depart, change the destination blinds. Oh, yes, we do need to do that. How do you do that then? Uh, I think it's F8. No, I think that's just on some of the ones. It's going fast, blimey. Oh, there it goes. Um, oh, yes, yes, now you have to do this. Right, this would be going to rugby, I believe. So these subs you just don't get anymore. Uh, so they go up to, well, from Gatwick, they go up to Peterborough, Cambridge, Bedford. But yeah, not to rugby anymore, places like that. Because rugby's near Coventry, isn't it? Or even further than that, I think. So let's get that set. Let's uh, spin that. The wheel. If only it was alphabetical. Uh, we're getting there. Rugby, rugby, rugby. Rugby, rugby. Black Friars, Elephant and Castle, Cricklewood, Kentish Town. Yes. Orpington, Orpington. Flitwick, Lee Grave, Harpenden, Brighton, West Hampstead, Kent. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's even on here. That's the thing. Uh, Dorking, Epsom, Epsom Down, Selhurst, West Croydon, Smitham, Caterham, Tatum and Corner, Horsham, hey, Guildford, King's Cross, Thameslink, Victoria, Watford Junction, Rugby. And uh, next up is East Croydon. My right, doors are shut, I'm guessing the guard's done his buzzer, so I'll do mine. Right, and let's get the brakes off and let's get out of Gatwick. Now, the only DLC I am missing is the Class 73 Gatwick Express. Maybe at some point we can pick that up. This this train just sounds beautiful. Right, let's get going. I think we're all set. Uh, we are going. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. I thought it was a bit quiet for a second. But off we go. Next stop, East Croydon. There's some fairly interesting services they did back. Uh, I think this scenario was set in 1999. Uh, you know, up to rugby. I know there used to be a Brighton to Manchester service. You don't really get any of that now, do you? That. <clears throat> I'm guessing the sort of service which replaced this was just the uh, East Croydon to Milton Keynes service, obviously by Southern. So we're going on to the fast line. But yeah, not long until everyone will be able to play. So obviously, Train Some World 2 console, Brighton Main Line, it's going to be good. And yeah, from what we've heard and what we've seen, I mean, over a thousand services on it. I mean, that is just absurd. I mean, over a thousand. And it was like one... 
1,400 services if you were on the um, next gen and PC. I mean, like, wow. And then 4,000 including the non-drivable services are the ones you will see but you won't actually be able to drive. Let's get a flyby shot going through Hawley. I love the 319. Uh, one of the trains. I've been on it many times. Obviously, it's not on the Brighton Main Line anymore. It's now up north, and I believe it is sort of making a return. I believe it's the 769, although that is the 769, which is, I think is the tri mode train. But yeah, it's just, it's just a beautiful train. Sounds, and it's just one of those, you know, part of that generation. I've only got a four coach unit. And yeah, I'm doing hardless as I do know the BML very, very well, as it is uh, a local route, and I've well driven this a lot on TS. An awful lot. Cool. Yes, DSD. A little bit more up to 90 along here, and then it will come down to 80 once we get to Red Hill Tunnel. We'll get a fly by shot in a second. Yeah, let's go in the uh, interior, let's have a look. The best place to hear the motors is really in the passenger cam, as that's where they're located at. Shall we get the window open? Nah, we'll do that once we get to the stop. A bit more sound in. I suppose the only, well, I suppose if we did ever see this in TSW, this train, I suppose it would be either a northern route, so say Manchester to Liverpool electrified, or I suppose a sort of backdated Brighton Main Line, so I suppose something like the Diesel Legends pack for the Great Western, I suppose it would be something like that, I guess, where you could then see this train. There's Salford Station. So it'll be Ellswood next, we'll see, and then we need to come down to 80. Then we're heading up to Clapham Junction. Yes, there we go, the SD, have some of that. Cool. Yeah, we are in 319004, so one of the oldest ones. I think these were built in the 80s. So they had around a 30 year lifespan. So a fair fair lifespan to them. And obviously they're still going today. Just not in the south anymore. Obviously where they're sort of made for. Well I suppose they do have pantos on them. So they can go north of London. But mostly for the south. So yeah, I wonder if any 319s don't have pantographs to them. As I know Southern had quite a few 319s, I think. And obviously they wouldn't be going above London unless it was a Milton Keynes. Which I, I don't know if at the time that service did exist. So yeah, I, don't, I wonder if there's any without pantos on them. Obviously this one will, as this one's going up the West Coast Main Line. Anyway, coming down to 80 now, as we're now approaching Red Hill Tunnel. And down a little bit more. There's the 80. Cool. Now, then we go into Red Hill Tunnel. Bit of a weird horn, though, isn't it, on this? Let's get that. Listen to that. Screaming of the motors. It's brilliant. Really, really good. Oh, so yeah, if you do want to get this pack, you can get it off the Armstrong Powerhouse store. That's where you'll find it. And would I say it's worth it? Yes. I mean, it's the 319, it's just brilliant. But did anyone actually ever travel on a 319 when it was in this livery? Oh, so yeah, I believe this one is set in the late 90s, so... I'm sure we'll have a fair few people who... Might have been on it. Uh, Gatwick to Watford in 60 minutes, Pete. You're up here with that, Watford. 
Out to Northampton in 100 minutes. It's got the little map on the side as well. It's just really, really good. Yes, DSD. Oh, it didn't let me do it then for a second. That was weird. It won't be long until we go into the quarry tunnel. But we are flooring it. I think it should be a fairly clear through one up to uh, Clapham. Here's the M25, a fairly quiet M25. There it goes, look at that. Let's get back in. And into the quarry tunnel. So it's not too far to East Croydon. We're probably halfway now between Gatwick and East Croydon. It's around 16 miles. It actually is the longest stretch between stations on most services. Um, as, yeah, pretty much, well... Yeah, most southern services go fast between East Croydon and um, Gatwick if they're, obviously if they're heading down to Brighton or anywhere sort of south coast destinations. But yeah, 16 miles in 10 minutes or so. It doesn't take too long. But then if you're... The longest stretch for, say, Gatwick Express would be... Um, what would that be? Probably Gatwick to Victoria to Gatwick, which would be around 25 miles. And it's about 23 miles from Gatwick to Brighton. But yeah, what's everyone going to start with then? When um, well, when you get your hands on the Brighton Main Line on TSW, are you going to be a Gatwick Express person or a Southern person? Maybe even a Great Western person? Maybe even a Frank person? What will be the first thing you, you do? Or a South Eastern person? driver right crossing over the uh, Red Hill line so Coulston South Station will be on the right lovely oh, that's brilliant but I'll be on the right soon enough Coulston South Coulston Salvas and that bit there. Lovely. Yeah, been on both of these lines many times. There's Coulston South Station. Let's whack that up. So yeah, we probably won't see many AI on the fast line as I'm missing the Class 73. Uh, I will try and get that at some point. Then we can have a sort of classic BML session. Obviously that would be on TS. But yeah, I'll definitely still be coming back to this one when uh, the new one's out, obviously, on TSW. Because I'm still I can drive the 319, the 73, etc, etc. Right, coming up on Purley Station. Then it's Purley Oaks, South Croydon, and then East Croydon. Awesome. To that. I think that's Reedham Station now on the left. There is Reedham. How are we doing? 85 miles an hour at the moment, that's all good. Getting up nice and slowly. You put all the blinds down, isn't that? Blind down. Little blinds there as well. Cool. What about the fan? Uh, don't know. Oh, there you can move it. Uh, probably is a way to turn it on. Yeah, fan switch. Don't know. Let's leave that for now. There's number 319. Got the motors on that. It's going pretty quick. And it does come down to 60 um, South Croydon, so 
We'll start bringing it down at the Pearly Oaks, which you can see coming up now, and then down to 45. Then depends what platform we're coming in on East Croydon. We're coming in on platform number one, so we need to come down to 30 miles an hour. Let's start getting the brakes on for the uh, 60. There's the uh, warning board for the 60. And South Croydon Station, literally just round the corner from Pearly Oaks. It's not far. There we go, that's been brung down to 60. Cool. Yeah, I think I... 319 in Southern Livery, I think I did see that. Yeah, I've seen a 319 a few liveries. First Capital Connect, uh, the new Thames Inc. livery. I saw it on that, that was at the last livery it had. Um, I've seen it in the Swiss, Swiss livery. There was like a Switzerland livery they did, which was quite cool. It's actually in the game as well. Um, yeah, seen it in a fair few. Listen to that. Anyway, let's get back in. Let's bring that down. Probably bring it down slightly early, but better safe than sorry. And it's down to 30 coming in. But yeah, now approaching East Croyd and our first station stop. Cool. And also another question. Do you think on the Brighton Main Line you'll be sticking to the full route, or maybe you'll just do the uh, Gatwick to London Victoria section? Right, let's bring that down. Coming down to 30. As we come into East Croydon, should be arriving on time. I would think we're arriving on time. We're due at 1452. Yeah, I would imagine we're on time. We did leave on time, been up full speed the whole way. See another train in the platform there. And there's the 30. Now we're only a four car train, so we won't be that far into the platform. Shouldn't be too far, there's the marker there. Don't know why there was a little platform ramp there. Listen to that though, look at the motors going. Or listen to the motors going. Here we are, this is East Croydon. Did we arrive on time? That's the big question. We did, literally bang on time. 52. And Clapham Junction at 15.03. But yeah, if you're enjoying the video, do leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. And do subscribe if you want to see more. Plenty more to come on TS and TSW. Oh, that bit of fence wasn't there. Let's try and uh, get off and get a screenshot. That one's off, listen to it. Sounds really good. Let's get that. There we go, that would do. That one's off. That was in a slightly different livery, just the Connex one, I think. Cool, let's uh, get back in. There's the DST going off. I think there's another one coming in. Lovely. Do the um, bell. Cool, brakes go off. And next station stop. Oh, what are we doing in the wall? <laughs> next station stop is Clapham Junction. Let's get going. This will be the best place to hear the motors. Listen to that. There we go. Oh, it's in a Thames Inc. livery, that one. Obviously the old Thames Inc. livery, not the new one. A bit of wheel slip actually coming out of there. Let's pop that down. 
Oh, there's music to your ears. Close that. Speed should have gone up now, 45. So Clapham Junction, I need to quickly see what platform we're coming in on. Uh, platform 16, I think that's the one furthest over. Obviously this one's going to be going up to Rugby via Kensington Olympia. So I wonder if it will route us onto the slow lines. Right, then we need more motor sounds. Listen to that. That is brilliant. Love the artwork as well on the wall. Sort of uh, St. Paul's. Is that Brighton Clock Tower there? Don't know, it's nice. It's a fairly nice interior in this, you know. It's not bad. Let's get back in the uh, front. Not a big fan on the horn, though. Cool, we just come through Selhurst without me noticing. No, here's Selhurst coming up here. There's the Selhurst depot. And 60. Through we go, through Selhurst. There's someone standing in the platform. I'm going to try and get a screen without there being a fence in the way. It's going to be like the whole way, isn't it? Awesome. There you go, there's no fence. Let's try and get ourselves a screenshot. Which we'll probably see as the thumbnail, most likely. There we go. Let's get one more we zoomed in a little. Doing thumbnail y things. And I think the first one was alright. Right, coming up on Thornton Heath. Should be able to speed up now. <coughs> Oh, here's the um, speed board. Oh, that's for that though, I know it's 70. Let's get that up again. So that's Norbury next. Norbury, Streatham Common, Ballum, Wandsworth Common, and then Clapham Junction. This is sort of the South London section of the route. I would actually say this bit here is probably my least favourite part of the route. Sort of going between East Croydon and Clapham Junction. Probably because I'm, I'm. This is not my area at all. I don't really know this area. I sort of make an eye through London. This section between the two sort of big stations and slightly slower as well. Right here is Norbury. Oh, very bouncy as well. Very. Here we go. So it is Streatham Common next. I wonder if Glenn's watching. Let's get that up. I got the phone there as well. Quite oh, nice. It's quite spacious, the cab. I like it. What's that noise? I don't know what that was. I don't think that's the train. Let's get a fly by shot going through Streatham Common. Let's whiz ahead. Just for Glenn. There you go. We're through. Let's bring that down as well, back down to 60, as we go through. Ballum's a weird station. Um, sort of the island platform, you sort of swing around the island platform as you as you go through. There's the Sutton and Mole Valley line, which has just joined us. Yeah, going up to Ballum. Let's uh, just put that on a tad. And then one's worth coming after this, and then it's in Clapham Junction. There's another service there. What livery is that in? That is in just the Connex one. 
Yeah, but they have worn a lot of liveries through their lifetime, this train. A lot of liveries. And yeah, if you do want to ride these trains, I think the only uh, trees treat the signal ahead as a double yellow aspect. So is it some sort of signal failure? Okay, that's a double yellow then. There's a single yellow aspect. Okay. Actually, the signal blocks are not very big on here. Well, that must be the map. This one must be red then. I don't know. Is it going to be red? Oh, yes. That's why. It's uh, because it, we're going across. So this one here should be a single yellow. And those ones back there would have been, I suppose, a flashing yellow. Across we go, so we're going on to the slow lines now. And ready to hear the motors again. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Listen to that. Cool. And a bit of wheel slip as well. Let's bring that down. Here's one's worth comment. Hello, one's worth comment. Here we go. And yeah, it's not far to. Clapham now, so I'm just gonna coast it now. Please treat the signal head as a WL aspect. So I'm guessing it's gonna be going across again into the platforms at Clapham. Lovely. Just coast it. Please treat the next signal as a yellow aspect or a single yellow. Yeah, so we'll probably be coming off again. Lovely. Yeah, coming into Clapham Junction now. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, do leave a thumbs up. And if you do want to see more, do subscribe. It all does help out. Lovely. Make that a little bit more. Yeah, you can see we're coming across here. At the signal. 10 miles an hour across in here as well, so pretty slow. But it's a fairly um, sharp turn in round here, so. Make that a little bit more. But this is Clapham Junction, obviously the busiest station in the UK in terms of train traffic. There's one in every sort of 20, 30, it's, it's, just, it's great. There's a lot of trains. And we're going into the far platforms here. But I don't think I ever saw a 319 going up here. Because when I sort of saw them, were obviously first Capital Connect. They used to well, branch off at East Croydon. Here we are. 
But yeah, this is Clapham Junction. And obviously if you did follow this route, this would then take you on, I believe it's the West London line. It takes you up through Shepherds, Bush, Kensing, Olympia, Imperial Wharf, that sort of way. There's the there's stop marker there. Cool. Now that was a nice journey up from Gatwick. I think we're about to have a fast one going through. Here we are. This is Happen Junction. That does complete today's scenario. So hopefully everyone did enjoy that. I sure did big time actually. Uh, obviously you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. That's it for me. Thanks for coming in and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye guys.